I'm walking into my office, everything's ready to go and uh, start the, uh, the teeny weeny oil painting challenge. However, yesterday there was one teeny weeny art supply I said I couldn't get a hold of a teeny weeny version of and that was the palette knives. But I did just spot these and thought that might be perfect. A little pair of tweezers. The problem is there's sort of, you know, obviously it's is there's two so I'm gonna go find my uh, whatchamacallit thing cut th th the cut thing cut thing words hacksaw is the word I'm trying to think of I get the hacksaw and just cut it off so I just have one length of tweezers so I guess I guess it's not plural so it would be a tweeze <laughs> I'm gonna go cut this up and this will be my mini palette knife. Otherwise I'll be pretty much ready to get started and I'll be recording in two parts. The first part will be the opening, uh, prepping the canvas, whatever, introducing the the uh, introducing the theme and, and the following the Bob Ross thing and then also plugging the cut box which I'll be recording this off of. Not a paid promotion or anything like that but they're kickstarting this thing and it's very cool for content creators like me. So uh, yeah, that's that's what I'll start off with and then the second part will be the actual painting. I feel like rather than trying to vice this down and cut it, it's, I, I, part of me feels like it's going to be quicker to just to just run it along it like this. Let's see if this works. Oh, look at that! It worked. <laughs> My mini palette knife. Perfect. All right, so this is my setup. I've got my monitor to see what the cameras are like and I can switch via the cut box to the different camera angles that I'm using. Uh, and as you can see, this is my setup. So I'll be following a Bob Ross video using my mini canvas, mini palette that I cut up yesterday. These are actual brushes, but they're just small size brushes and I cut the ends of them so they look like mini brushes. And then I have my tweeze newly added part. So obviously these are quite large. These are like, you know, the size of the canvas. But I think my tweeze should have me covered <laughs> with any luck. Uh, so yeah, then other otherwise I've just got some paints, I've got my terps and I have a magnifying glass. And that, that seems to work quite effectively uh, on the on the video, it, it zooms in quite well, which is good. So that's cool. Otherwise, I've got my cut boxes and I've got everything ready to go. So uh, there's no time like the present. That's right. It's the return of the teeny weeny, and this time I'm going to be painting with oil paint on a mini canvas and following along with a Bob Ross video tutorial. <laughs> Bob Ross is, of course, the master of the joy of painting, so we're going to have ourselves a, a little joy of painting. Get it? Because it's a little... Anyway, it's time to get started, and I need to start with a little bit of preparation, because Bob Ross just jumps straight into it, but, you know, he does start off by introducing his pre-stretched liquid clear applied canvas and a palette with the paint applied. So I need to get to the stage where he is when he starts his video. I'm done! That was awesome! It was it was uh, a little intense to pull off, but the, the, the end result is really satisfying. I can't show you the end, I don't want to give it away, uh, but I will show you a little bit of the mid progress because I can actually go to the cut box and preview the recording session and show you how it went. So here's the multi-camera switcher, but I'm just going to go to playback and you can see, there we go, there are my sessions. So it'll be session three and session four. So if I double click session three and skip somewhere to the middle, you can see that this is when I'm showing off my art supplies and you can see that on all the different cameras. God, this is amazing. This thing is so good. Okay, and then session four is when I actually created my painting. So I'll just fast forward here and look, you can see me following along in miniature form. And how satisfying is this? That in the playback, you can see, like that's where I'm talking to camera, I'm trying to figure myself out, but you can like see all of the angles. Like for editing, this is just so good. Oh my God, I can't recommend the cut box enough because the fact that I have after this, like the raw footage of all of, all of the video on every camera angle and it's automatically synced, exactly the same, you know, time frame and all this stuff and it's all 1080p. This is amazing. Anyways, I'm gonna export these and bring them over to the computer and then we're good to go. 
All right, so I've taken my B-roll and uh, I'm, I mean, I'm done and it's midday. So that's good timing because the news crew was going to come first thing in the morning. They're coming at 1 p.m. instead. So with this video out of the way, as soon as they're done, I can wrap up with emails and finish up for the day. I'm waiting. What are you doing? You're waiting. I'm waiting. You're waiting to get in. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, slightly addicted to my tech, so... I can imagine it, yeah. <laughs> hey, monkey. Um, Do you want to join in? No. No. You go back and see Gary. No. Yes. No, yes. Where is Gary? Daddy's got to go do a bit of work. We'll see you later, monkey. Bye-bye. All right. Tell me how you want me. Okay. Just staying, it's fine. It's good. And just, yeah, looking at me the whole time. All right, no worries. Uh, yep. <clears throat> so Josiah, do you want to tell me a little about how this all came about, I suppose? Sure. This all came about because before YouTube I was an animator and game designer independently. Um, and as the Flash platform I was using started to decline a bit, I looked at other things I could do. And about six years ago YouTube was starting to bubble and look interesting and uh, I thought I could provide some value there and create entertaining content and that's sort of the beginning of the end for me. So I've been a YouTuber ever since then and that's, I live it and breathe it. So sort of snowballed from there. So you always yeah. sort of enjoyed drawing? Always, yeah. So since I was 11 years old, I've been obsessed with art and creativity. And I think the reason I love YouTube so much is it allows me to share my obsession that I can't shut up about and get so excited about with everyone. And, and I think it's been successful because you know, the people who watch my videos can see that I'm genuinely in love with creativity and it's, it's a really fun thing to share. They're getting B-roll for their, their news thing. I'm getting B-roll for my vlog. So, there we <laughs> Multitasking. go. Multitasking. All right. Got to fix my... <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. So may I ask how much all this equipment costs, just out of interest? Uh, look, bits and pieces over time. Yeah. Some of it's free, like the monitor. Oh, wow. So this was sponsored, so... Awesome. Free monitor. Um, it's, it's all like in dribs and drabs over time, really. Yeah, okay. Because when you've been doing it for six years, it's like every four you or five months, you like, get a stuff. new thing, or, you know, so like, mm. yeah. I mean, in total, there'd be tens of thousands of dollars worth of equipment, but, well. you know, it's when you start off with literally a crappy computer and a webcam, yeah. it just kind of goes from there. Yeah, I you're meant to be in that. I think yeah. one of the misleading things is when kids sort of watch, um, you know, YouTube stuff or whatever, like, if they see a behind the scenes of this place, they think, oh, I need this to be a successful YouTuber. Yeah, but yeah. But it's really the opposite. You start with... You have original content, really. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, we, we come to the end of the day and the week. This has been a very productive day and a very productive few weeks. I'm really proud of the caliber of content that's been produced in the last couple of weeks. That said, I'm also exhausted. So I'm really looking forward to the weekend, having a proper rest. And next week is going to be a much calmer week content wise. But I hope you guys are enjoying the, the content that's come out. I'm going to wrap up with the question of the day. The redhead says, don't you sometimes think you have a too professional setup? I think the answer to that is no, I would like more technical equipment, please. I'm addicted to my tech and making things as epic as I possibly can. Uh, that said, I like to get to basics and make simple stuff too. But really for me, it's about making the most entertaining viewing experience ever. And if I can get more equipment to make that work, you know, I'll do it. So no, I would like more professional setup as time goes on because I love doing that. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, oh, one thing I did want to add. This amazing Twitter artist messaged me over a year ago asking that if they paint me twice a month for a year, would I give him a digital tablet? I said yes over a year ago, and he has kept up his side of the bargain. He has painted Jazza every month based on the activities and the things that were happening that month for a, for a year. This is a one-time thing, so nobody else can do this because I don't have endless tablets lying around, but I did commit and say yes, and I do happen to have this lying around. So you hold up your end of the bargain. So I'm going to hold up mine. I'm going to send you a welcome into OS Pro tablet. So thank you so much for being an amazing part of the community. You are truly obnoxious, but consistent and deserving of the tablet. So I will send it to you. Uh, but yes, everyone else watching this note that you can't do the same thing and get the same result because he was an outside of the box thinker and, and he will be rewarded. But 
I can't give tablets to everyone, so that's the end of that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. It was really fun having your company in the last few weeks, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Otherwise, I'm going to take a weekend, hopefully see Infinity War, that'll be fun, and, uh, and recalibrate a bit. See you later.